Hello there, so recently I've built quite a few dioramas, there have been other different mocks in between, I think we're definitely overdue a mech mock, so keep your eyes out for that soon, but I've built one for the Tantiv, I've built one for Phantom Menace, I think yesterday we took a look at the Bad Bad Show, today we've got another diorama, but it's different to all the other ones I've done, it's not like any of the other dioramas, because I've got no room on my diorama shelf, so... I've switched it up a bit, it's a mini figure heavy mock, there's not much scenery to do, if you remember the scene in season 7 right at the end of Clone Wars when Ahsoka witnesses Order 66 herself, breaks out Maul and well the rest is history, but I wanted to recreate that scene, I've now got all the minifigures I need, there's definitely a few things I could update in the future, I mean right now I'm going to say I don't have Captain Rex so I have custom made that minifigure, Jesse is also using the fives from the new Tantiv and that is that set's input into this mock. But let's take a look because I think it does look really cool and I've managed to include a play feature in one of the smallest mocks that I have ever built. And when I say this is one of the easiest mocks I've ever created, I don't mean it's micro scale or nothing like that. This uses minifigures and is as minifigure scale as I really could have gotten it and... There is a play feature in this. I will be showing off the play feature towards the end. I've got to save the best till last. But as you can see, I've got all the minifigures present in Ahsoka's Order 66 scene all around the edge. And for the base of this, I've taken a little inspiration from the Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga loading screen. Because during the screen where you can pick which episode you'd like to start off with, you've got these round sort of dioramas with these big bases. And... That's the sort of shape I've gone for for this mock. You can see I've just used some 3x6 wedge plates and cornered it off with a 2x2 two two with a corner missing. And that has given me a nice unique shape that differs to the regular 16x24 shape that I usually go with for my dioramas. And this is definitely a more minifigure heavy set. I mean, you take away the minifigures from this and... Well, we've got a table, and that is honestly about it. It can be used to create other scenes on Venators and Republic bases and that, but the scene I've gone for is the Order 66 scene, where Ahsoka is deflecting all the blaster bolts. You've got Jesse, which is represented with fives. I'd love to get another helmet to represent Jesse, but really I just want another figure to get that helmet for, because I do like this fives figure. I have added a cloth karma to fives. I'm not sure how well you can see it on the camera but at first you've got rex firing at ahsoka and there's a few 330 second troopers on the bridge ahsoka then cuts off that area so there were going to be no figures this side past rex jesse then runs in or fives in this situation with four 330 second troopers and ahsoka does deflect a blaster bolt killing one of the troopers which Honestly, she wasn't trying to kill him, it just deflected back at the trooper. And then when Ahsoka starts to cut through the top and disappear, three more 212 troopers come out. You can see that this trooper down here is actually from the battle pack, which shares the custom Firestar printed arms with Ahsoka. Different arms, of course, but Ahsoka's got a gauntlet printed on, and this Coruscant guard or shock trooper has some nice printed arms. If you do want to, Order custom arms of Firestar, do use my code as it gets me a little share and gets you 10% off. And as you can see, the Shock Trooper arms are actually in stock right now. They're only £3, so that's not too bad for the level of detail they provide. There's also a bunch of others. I've never really shown you how many arms they print. But as you can see, there's mostly Clone Trooper, Storm Trooper, Imperial Navy, and you get a bunch of different arms for your Lukes, your Hans, and all the other named Star Wars characters. Now, it's not just Star Wars that they do. There are a few of the newer Star Wars sets like Fox and Harris and Dulla. But there's also arms for Thor, Captain America, Iron Man, Spider-Man minifigures, Overwatch minifigures. There are Ghostbuster arms. And you've even got arms for figures like the DeLorean, which they're Lego idea sets, but they've still got arms that you can purchase. Sometimes in a bundle like this with an extra accessory that, again, is also custom printed by Firestar. And I've got another two from this month's magazine. Funny story about that, actually. So the magazine initially was coming out on the 13th, which is why a day later I have now planned for this video. And 
it's one of the easiest videos to prepare for. I just had to line up a bunch of minifigures, really. But the magazine actually came out on the 6th, and because my local store where I picked up the magazine didn't have the barcode prepared for this, because I guess they probably just expected it on the 13th, I actually got two of these magazines, one for me, one for my fiancé, for only £2.50. So it was lovely of them to put it through for a bit cheaper, because they do have the price on the front of the magazine, but they just grabbed the first object near them, scanned that instead, and... I got these magazines for real cheap, but of course I'm sure they have the barcode on their system by now, especially dependent on how many people picked them up because my local stores do, I'm afraid, normally have the Stormtroopers and Clone Troopers torn from the magazines and even with the new Series 25 minifigures having a QR code on the bottom, People still rip open the boxes and leave half of a minifigure just laying on the side. So I hope you do use the QRs and purchase the magazines if you want the minifigures because otherwise it is just stealing Lego and if Lego don't see enough people buying it they're going to assume it's not wanted and we'll just stop it overall. So hopefully we do get a few more minifigures like this in the magazine. I really do appreciate when it's something that is somewhat of an army build up because then me and my fiance pick up a magazine get the puzzles done in them and you end up with double the minifigures or double the pieces if it's a really cool ship now you've waited long enough for the play feature of this diorama of course it's going to involve this middle bit here you can sort of see that this plate is off balance and that is because i've added a nice little rotary plate in there and ahsoka can spin her way around just like she does when she's training for this and just like she does in the actual scene deflecting all of the blasters and i did try to get a mechanism in there some of the flat gear bricks or plates to just try and have something off to the side it would have required a much deeper base and it's just a bit complex for this small diorama the main thing i wanted to show is how simple dioramas can be. I mean, this is mostly minifigures, a few plates underneath. You could have definitely done this on a smaller base plate or perhaps even managed to squeeze it on a 16 by 16 plate and just added this hologram table in the middle with Ahsoka spinning on. Of course, you could expand it, get the blast doors in, get the walls in, but I really don't have the pieces to build that with all of my dioramas going on for the minute. So I wanted to build something to include the Coruscant Guard Shock Trooper and hopefully I can pick up the gunship for Star Wars is May 4th this year because I definitely like to pick up that gunship. I haven't had a gunship yet. I got the battle pack with Kiari Mundi in which is a very controversial battle pack but I hope this inspires you to just put together some bricks and have a nice display because sometimes it's better to display minifigures like this than it is on their own display cabinet. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video today. Do drop a like if you did. Subscribe for more awesome content in a bit bigger of a scout than this. And may the bricks be with you always.